Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and the next movie I'm reviewing for you guys is called Guest House. Now this movie was released on September 4th, 2020. It is a comedy film that has a 4.4 out of 10 on IMDb and 58% on Google. And on five reviews, it has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, the movie was directed and co-written by Sam Macaroni and co-written by Sean Bishop and Troy Duffy. And it stars Pauly Shore, uh, Mike Castle, Billy Zane, Steve-O, and Chris Kattan. And in this movie, we have a young couple who are looking to purchase a new home. And in doing so, they find the perfect home they want. But there's one catch. There is a guest in their guest house and pretty much is living there uh, for free uh, and has no uh, ambition to move out or do anything. So the couple to go in, they decide to go ahead and buy the house. Uh, but they're still trying to work out a way to get him out of the guest house. And doing so, it sets off a war between the um, boyfriend and the guest in the guest house. Played by Pauly Shore, you got Randy. And, uh, yeah, that's what this movie's about. Uh, going into this movie, uh, I like Pauly Shore. I like some of his early, earlier stuff. Uh, but eventually, it, it kind of got old, him doing the same thing in all of his movies. But um, most notably, the one thing I was looking forward to about this movie is to see if he stepped away from that. And I'm so glad that I didn't hear one thing from his old routine in his, in his older movies. Uh, no weasel stuff, no buddy, no none of that stuff. Uh, there was a, a, a fun time for that. Um, during the 90s, but now that he's, he's gotten older, uh, it's nice to see him move past that, and I'm so glad he did, because if I would have heard that stuff in this movie, it would really, really would have dragged this movie down uh, even further. Uh, that being said, uh, this is a funny movie. Uh, it's not great by any stretch of the imagination, it was cool to see Steve-O in the movie. Of course, he was doing some of his, his jackass stuff uh, in the film, uh, which we come to expect. I mean, that's what he's known for. But I really wish uh, he would do movies and just play it straight. You know, don't do no dangerous uh, stunts. Just play a movie straight. I think he can be really good in films. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one thing if you're doing your own stunts and the stunt calls for that. But I think he could be really good. Uh, but overall, though, this movie was... It was fun at times. Some of the stuff was really funny. Uh, of course, one thing that got really annoying after a while was all the dick stuff. Uh, there are a lot of dick jokes in, in the movie and a lot of usage of the dick. And, uh, yeah, the first couple of times it was funny. But, um... Uh, and for that, you know, you you can wear a joke really thin, and it just uh, it gets old. But with that being said, I did enjoy this movie for what it is. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, especially knowing that that Paul is in the movie. Uh, but like I said, I like a lot of his you know, uh, his earlier work. Like uh, uh, Son in Law is my favorite, uh, and See No Man. Uh, I think it's In the Army Now, uh, are the three that I really enjoy. But uh, outside of that, this one will go up there now because, as I said, he stepped away from his um, uh, stuff he used with his earlier movies. And, uh, yeah, made for a much better movie. So I'm going to give Guest House um, a 7 out of 10. Uh, no thumbs up, no thumbs down. Just a 7 out of 10. 
I think it's worth the watch. I think you'll laugh. And yes, I think you'll be annoyed by a few of the things. But the ending to this movie was really sweet. And that's what I wanted to see from Polly. And it was funny too. But at the same time, it was really sweet. And we find out why he's in the guest house. And it was awesome. So, in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And uh, what are some of your favorite Polly Shore movies? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and if you like this review, hit that like button. Well, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for my final movie review, which is going to be All My Friends Are Dead from 2020. Till then, I thank you for watching, and check you later.